Right, what we're going to do now is look at how to draw a parallelogram of forces. So if you remember, a parallelogram kind of looks like, it's not really accurate drawing there, but it looks like a kind of squint rectangle. It's kind of fallen over a little bit. And we're going to use a parallelogram of forces to combine two vectors, two component vectors, just arrows with size and direction, to find the resultant vector. You're going to need to measure the size of the vector using a ruler and the direction of the vector using a compass. So here's what we do. Today we'll be using a scale of one centimeter to 10 newtons. Okay, so bear that in mind. So first things first, we draw two component vectors tail to tail. So we've got both tails down here. There's where we start from here, joining them tail to tail. We then draw two parallel lines to form a parallelogram. Okay, so a parallelogram is two sets of parallel lines, and here we have that. So here's where our end is going to be. Now, we then join the start to the end to find the resultant vector, okay, which is going to look like this. So this vector here is our resultant vector by joining vectors one. And vector two, uh, when we combine both of them, a little, quite a bit of up, a little bit of right, a little bit of down, and a lot of right, we get a vector which mostly goes up and to the right. So that's not really accurate enough for our purposes. So we're going to get a ruler and use our scale. Now, if we get our, my fake digital ruler here, that is 9.7 centimeters. Okay, now to scale, that will give me 97 newtons. So that is the size of my vector. To measure the direction, we're going to use a protractor. So we're going to use a bearing system where north up here is 0, 0, 0, or 360 degrees. Here we have a bearing east of 90 degrees, south of 180 degrees so if you were to walk backwards you would uh, be going in a direction of 180 and here we have a bearing of 270 degrees to the west so using our compass we're going to measure this angle here which is right about there that looks like about 70 a bearing of 076 degrees Okay, so our final answer would be uh, this vector has a magnitude of 97 newtons at a bearing of 060 degrees. Okay, there's our final answer.